Hey gang, AV here. Welcome to my review of the G.I. Joe Retro Collection Storm Shadow um, from the 2020 Walmart exclusive line. Here he is in the packaging. And right off the bat, I just want to point out the fact that the Storm Shadow pictured on the card is not the Storm Shadow that you get in the packaging. The Storm Shadow that you actually get is actually a repaint for lack of a better term, of the Renegades Storm Shadow. As you can see him here in his original packaging. Um, a couple of the most notable exceptions and differences between the two figures are A, the Retro Collection one does not come with the alternate head, as seen here. And uh, the, uh, the white sash around his waist there is actually packed in here in black. And... Uh, the handles of his swords are brown here, whereas they're black or very dark, deep brown there. The fan has a different color handle. Like subtle differences like that attribute to the differences in this figure. Um, there are a couple other minor ones. For example, I think the, uh, now that I think about it, the darts right there are different, are black on this particular figure. You get the idea. Um, they changed all the, enough of the color to, to make sure that this was a, a new release. Um, but anyhow, that's a picture of the classic um, Storm Shadow, which is not the one that we're getting. So this is the uh, front of the card. He is a blister carded figure. Here is the back of the card, which shows you the file card. We'll have a closer look at in a second, as well as the cross cell for the first um, two waves of figures. And that's about all I gotta say about the packaging. Let's have a look at the file card itself. Here it is. Um, I'm just going to read it to you because it's only this top line here. Uh, Roll Cobra Ninja, primary specialty assassin, secondary specialty intelligence, birthplace classified. Can scale sheer, sheer walls with bare hands and feet and move with blinding speed. That really tells you nothing really about Storm Shadow. It's a shame. The size of this file card, the fact that they include five different languages on here, prevents them from actually using the file card appropriately, in my opinion. I know I've gotten some heat by my uh, refusal to accept this particular type of file card on my channel. Um, uh, some people have commented kind of harshly at me for for being so critical of the multilingual packaging, but I stand firm to my belief that um, one of the aspects that made carded figures so appealing to collectors is the fact that their packaging reflects the different regions that they came from. If you were to get a Takara Storm Shadow, for example, it had Japanese writing on it. If you got one from the UK, it would have the Action Force packaging on it. I am not a fan of this. This is very lazy on Hasbro's part. They print out the same card for multiple different countries. That's lazy. And the, the file card especially suffers for that laziness. That's just my opinion. And I'm going to stick to it. Now inside the packaging, we got this little printout. And again, this is in like 27 different countries. Warning, choking hazard. You know, made in China. Uh, Hasbro, copyright, Pawtucket, Rhode Island. Um, yada, yada, yada. And without further ado, here is the figure himself. We're going to start looking at his accessories first, namely the ones that I don't currently have on the figure, which really aren't a lot. Um, here is his red sash, which you saw in the Renegades packaging the figure was wearing. I can demonstrate this a little later after I get some of his gear off. It pegs easy enough. It's a single piece. Um, he has two identical blades here with hoops on the end, assumably so you can tie a string to them or whatnot. These are pretty cool. There's no real paint detail on them. They're just in plain silver. Um, he has a pair of nunchucks, 
and I'm calling them that because I don't know what else to call them. Um, I'm sure this is not their technical term since there is a string attaching them instead of a chain, but you know, to my uneducated um, brain, these are nunchucks. Um, it's got about a two inch long string in the middle there. It came pre-tied. It's a cool accessory. And everything else I have actually on the figure itself. And we'll have a look at how I did that right now. He's got his two throwing stars between his fingers there. He's got his fan in his right hand. Um, his darts are attached to his uh, bandolier there. I've got his size and his... Uh, I'm not sure what they're called. They're like uh, little darts that he holds between his fingers right there. Two swords. I've got his uh, bow and his arrow in there. So he can store quite a lot of stuff. And, and if you get creative, you can actually like wrap the, the that around the, the backpack. So you can hold that. You can stuck the, stick these in there if you want. So I like the fact that you can store just about everything on them for display. Um, here is his figure base. It says Storm Shadow there on the front. Two foot pegs, raised Cobra sigil, and 2007 uh, Hasbro copyright stamp there on the bottom. I'm actually going to stick him back on there because I don't want him to fall over. There we are. Let's angle this down a little bit. Let's have a look at his fan here. Now, I honestly don't know if this is a conventional fan or if it's the bladed kind. It's uh, it's not picked out with paint to, to signify that it has a blade on the edge, but there have been, uh, I've seen that in movies. Not to mention Mortal Kombat, I think. Uh, Milana had it, I think, I believe. Anyhow, it's got a... Uh, maroon colored handle um, he has two identical throwing stars which you see can fit right between his fingers they are six pointed have a circle in the middle a hole in the middle I should say get that off to the side there I don't want to lose them and uh, just because they will fall off. They're kind of precariously held in place here. Let's remove his backpack. Start picking the things off one at a time. Here are his two identical size. Very cool. Uh, again, these uh, spiked uh, brass knuckles or whatever they are don't really know what these are but I believe he can hold these laced between his fingers if I'm not mistaken something like that which is pretty cool that would hurt like hell if you punched you with that um, inside here I've got he comes with a single arrow, which is pretty long and exaggerated. There's no paint on there. <clears throat> but still pretty cool that he came with one. Here is his bow. Which does have a string. Um, I wouldn't stretch it too far though. It's liable to break or warp. Here is his traditional backpack. It has the Arashikage symbol there in the middle. And it has the two swords, the long and short sword. With a little dry brush detail there on the hand on the handles, it looks like. But not the, uh, the dark, dark, deep red uh, paint job that the uh, Renegades version had, at least. Um, the blades are obviously painted in silver backpack itself has uh, a little bit of detail there on the underside 
and it does split in half. I'm not sure why it splits in half. Maybe if you get a, uh, a throwing star in there and you can't seem to get it out, maybe, I don't know. But uh, he does have one other, uh, two other accessories, actually. Um, I mentioned it earlier, I have his throwing darts here on the back of his bandolier. They just peg right in. And the center one is removable. This is probably the smallest of the uh, accessories he comes with. You can stick this between his fingers. As though he's about to throw it. I think that's really cool. I'm not sure how many people know that that's there. I know it took me a while. I have a couple different versions of this included with some storm shadows and I didn't realize it right away so I'm kind of excited to to not only understand what that is but <laughs> that I never lost it up till now <laughs> so anyway um, here is the figure himself he comes out of the package with uh, his traditional bandolier that you would normally see with uh, you know the traditional storm shadow and a white belt um, a cobra sigil right there. He's got some very nicely sculpted hands that help him utilize the vast majority of weapons that he comes with. Actually, all the weapons he comes with. What am I talking about? <laughs> He's got some puffy pants there. Not too bad. Let's get his uh, other sash on while I'm thinking about it. So you just basically lift his arm up, remove that bandolier and unpeg his belt right there. Drop the sash over that way. Wrap this around. And there you go. There's his red sash. So he looks more cartoon accurate. I do believe he had the red sash in the cartoon. I can't remember now. Actually, the picture on the, uh, on the thing has him in black, so... I'm not positive. I don't remember. I'm going to have to go back and watch it. But anyway, he does look pretty cool with the red sash on there. I do like that. Let's get his head back on. It is a little unfortunate that he doesn't come with the alternate head, because the alternate head did look a lot more cartoon accurate than this one. However, this one is very cool. Uh, let's do some articulation now. His head's on the ball joint, as you saw. Does a full 360. He can look down and up. He can tilt his head from side to side a little bit, too, to get some emotion out of him. Full 360 here at the arms. Raise his arms up pretty high. There's nothing at the bicep. He can flatten his arm out and bend 90 degrees at the elbow. There's also a rotation here. Goes all the way around. His wrists, full rotation there at the wrist, as well as some hinges that allow him to point his hands down and up to get some good dynamic sword holding poses. Um, he has a diaphragm joint, which is very free moving. It is a little hindered by this red sash, which is why I put this on before doing the articulation. However, you can see yeah, he can still move around pretty well with it. I mean, well within the, uh, the natural um, posing um, range that he would normally have. Um, you can raise his leg up about that high, kick it back about that far. You can do the splits about like that. The bulkiness of his pants uh, hinder it a tiny bit. Um, you can kick his heels back about that far with his double jointed knees. Rotate his ankles all the way around as well as pointing his toes down and up. Great articulation on this guy. I love his accessories. I, even though we have gotten these accessories with previous Storm Shadows, um, including the Renegades one, as well as the Ultimate Storm Shadow, they're awesome accessories. And they're, they're very, uh, very appropriate for the fact, for him being a ninja. Um, I'm not gonna complain at all about the fact that we've gotten them before. 
I think he looks great. And let's do some size comparison now. So, actually, I don't want him standing on there because that'll give him an unfair advantage. We'll stand him right here. So here he is next to a vintage G.I. Joe. As you can see, uh, Retro's GI, uh, Retro Storm Shadow is noticeably taller because he is a four inch figure, not a three and three quarter inch. Um, same can be said for the vintage collection Star Wars figures. Um, they are three and three quarter inches still, whereas the Retro Collection Star uh, GI Joe are four inch. Here he is next to a true four inch figure, the uh, Boss Fight Studios Knight Blank. As you can see, he scales very well with him. And lastly, we have a Marvel Universe Captain America, who is a little bit taller, but he's Captain America. He should be. So again, all in all, I think he's an excellent figure. I do highly recommend that you pick one up if you're, if you're able to find one. Um, these are Walmart exclusive, um, so keep an eye out in your Walmarts as well as on the Walmart uh, website. Um, they do show up pretty regularly. I would try to avoid spending scalper prices on these guys. Um, I think I think they're going to be more readily available in the, in the, uh, the weeks ahead. So just keep an eye out. Be patient. I'm sure you'll find one. Um, this has been AV. If you like this video, check out my channel. If you like what you see there, then please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.